Alright, hi and welcome back to another episode of uh, the World of Warcraft Let's Play series. Um, I kind of forgot again where we left off, uh, so I'm just gonna kill this guy and then I'm going to um, mine that ore over there. Um, let me see, I'm supposed to speak to Sebastian Hayward at the Hayward Fishery, um, rescue five mountain horses and steal some grandmother's clothes and you're not quite sure uh, but this looks identical to what she was wearing well let's hope so um, wait did I have to steal her clothes right next to her door are they that terrified of going outside I mean they're kind of talking to a worgen right so why not face a stupid uh, forsaken scout. I mean, they're scouts after all. They're not. Oh wait, she's in grandma after all. Okay. Watch your back. Well, thanks for the reward. I'll go f get your cat as well. Um, I'm not sure where it's at. I can see some birds on the ground, and that's a rat. That's not a cat. Um, so I'll just go mining and hopefully I'll run into some of my quests chance to get oh there is chance oh no that's a fox um, well we have to keep our eyes out for the cat while we're oh hello there you worgen Arab worgen priest that's not really cool in my opinion well maybe as a female worgen that that could have something but if you're like a mean maniac uh, worgen uh, male in my opinion that's not the oh, horses that's not the, the best um, best class to choose for this race in my opinion uh, I mean I'm if you're rocking a, a worgen priest and uh, it's really cool and all uh, sure that's that's okay on. but I I don't think they match like uh, what they added to the game and Yes, I know I'm playing one, but uh, the Tauren Paladin, um, whoa, is isn't really uh, you know it doesn't fit. They're Taurens. They're you can only ride the mountain horse in Crowley Stable Grounds. And okay, sorry, I thought I'd just ah oh, come on. Okay, I'm not sure where to bring the horse, but uh, I'll just. Uh, Given the quest over there, and then uh, we'll save the, the horses afterwards. Um, so, anyway, uh, uh, where they left off? Oh, yeah, about the horses or something. I already forgot. I'm always having a conversation, and in the middle of my sentence, I just forget what I was talking about. So, we're at uh, Sebastian Hayward, and. We're just kind of chatting around here while his friends are protecting him and he's probably salvaging the boat so um, I'm just gonna kill his ass and get some wood for the boat probably yeah pretty sure it is and then I'm going to mine some of the ores that are around here there are actually a lot of ores I'm not sure if that's uh, new if that's an update or um, that this is just a uh, you know uh, a great place to mine for uh, copper to train of course I mean you won't be selling much copper I guess or maybe it is I'm not sure if uh, someone's just buying all the copper and uh, you know uh, trading uh, his or smithing uh, or mining by uh, melting the ores then that's a pretty nice way to make some money in the beginning I mean we only got 30 silver and I can see that I have to vendor some of my stuff too in order to carry more of it. Alright, so there's the barrel of coal tar and then I just need some shipwrights tools and those will be probably be inside of the house. I guess, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll see in a second. Um, so here's the coal tar and I suggest going into the house finding more of the supplies that we need and I was right all right cool 
got the shipwright stools. All right, so uh, inventory is full. Oh, damn. Okay, so let's see what I will vendor. Okay, I will we'll wear that uh, vest and throw something away. What will I throw away? I'll throw away the worn axe from the beginning and get some shipwright stools. Okay, cool. I'll give it back to him uh, right away so I can. Um, or should I? Yeah, I kill two more and then I'll turn in the quest so I can uh, go away and uh, sell the contents of my inventory. Um, I've never attacked anyone in stealth yet, even though I'm a rogue. So I'll go do that right now just to check it out. Alright, so I'm this stealthy guy and I'm going up to your back and talk! And. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess, but not if you're really questing. I'm not sure. I've never played a rope before, so I'm probably doing it wrong already. Alright, so I want to repair my health. Oh, come on. Let me see. The gloves. Yeah. Okay, this glove will go away for one. For one copper, that's, that's nothing at all. Alright, so the repair belt, and let me wear the belt. Okay, and I'll give. Oh, I'm getting it back. Thank you. Alright, cool. But I'm still going to uh, sell the inventory of my uh, of my bags, so I can. Uh, where should I bring the the horses to anyway? Let me read for a second. Bring five more. Mountain horses to Lorna Crowley at Crowley Orchard, Orchard or whatever it's called. All right, so where's that Crowley Stable Grounds? Uh, I'll probably run into that direction or something, and hopefully uh, we'll run into the cat as well. Okay, well I'm not running into that direction. Um, I guess I have to go back to the grandmother, no, won't I? I mean. Um, I won't have to bring them at their own spot. Um, oh yeah, I should bring them to her. Hello, here's a horse. Have it. What's this? Make the mountain horse your... Oh. Okay, whatever. Let's go back and fetch another horse. Uh, without getting eaten by the huge giant that's over there. Korot the Hillbreaker. Alright. Get on, get on, get on. Okay, cool. Uh, make the mountain horse you're targeting follow you. Oh, okay, so I can just hurt some more of them. I'm out of range. Hello, follow me. Hello, follow me. Hello, follow me. And with four, we're good to go. I guess. Um, did I miss one? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll see in a sec. Um, okay, so there's Lorna. And here are your horses. Okay, here we go. And five horses rescued. I want your nothing. I'll just take the belt. And let's mine the ore over here. And find a vendor. Because I really need to empty my bags. Um, and then we'll go get the cat. Uh, it's not important for now. Um, I can't run. I'm, I kind of missed my mount already. But thankfully, um, another... After some discussion, uh, you probably disagree. Um, I kind of enjoy getting a mount at level 20. Um, because you're not really... Um, it kind of removes the fact that um, you have to uh, really train and grind hard for your mount. But at the same time, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, um, you know, you can uh, quest faster, move around faster, and our opinions are probably different because I've spoken to a lot of people uh, from the vanilla that really, really, really hate uh, the fact that you can acquire a mount at level 20 uh, now. I, uh, yeah, well, I can't really, you know, I can agree and I can disagree. Uh, it has its advantages and disadvantages, but at the same time, you won't hear me complain when I'm already going on a mount at level 20 if you're starting a new character. Um, so, it's more like if you already have a high-end character and you really, really worked hard for your mount, then obviously um, 
it's not that great for you because you're proud of an achievement and the next day you see some level 20 running uh, by with some 40% uh, uh, increasement movement uh, horse and well then it can suck yeah I can uh, fully understand but um, like now when we're creating a new character a new let's play um, you won't hear me complaining when I'm on a horse at level 20 and I, I'm kind of wondering what Mount Worgens have um, like I said before I've never been at Lions at all so I probably couldn't recognize it uh, Except for some of uh, the dungeons uh, or battlegrounds I did, uh, I really never really seen some of the alliance mount. Of course, I know how it looked like, but for working, I have no idea. Uh, I can probably, uh, you know, the the horses are for humans, and you have these uh, elephants Remain for the Draenei, if I remember correctly, have a go and adventure. these goats for dwarves and stuff. But I've never seen a working for what I can remember, or at least I can't think of one. Um, so I'm not sure if you know what I'll be getting at level 20 um, I'm also going to sell the, the alcohol I don't really need it uh, I'm a social guy uh, without it anyway so there's no need to drink in a game after all so let me see um, that's it and I'll we've got 37 silver which is nothing at all um, I just logged in uh, at my other uh, uh, character and uh, I kind of noticed that um, even though um, even a, a, v a vendor or uh, you know repairing something is, is so expensive it isn't comparable to uh, vanilla at all or even the Burning Crusade or uh, you know uh, what's it called uh, the Lich King expansion so I'm guessing that after Cataclysm uh, in the Pandaren version, oh, gold will be such you know, oh, it will be run over in uh, in uh, quantities. I mean, uh, my other character has 12,000 gold at the moment, and it has its epic flying, uh, it has all it can get, and still, um, I'm kind of wondering, uh, you know, it's so much, it's so much, and I'm, I'm guessing that. Um, it's kind of you know nothing compared to the Pandaren expansion like it was with every expansion that came out uh, after vanilla um, anyway that was it for today's episode uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, we did a few quests we still have to find the, the cat of the old lady uh, and then we're moving on and I have no idea where so if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.